all that well at hunting down Tinker. If they're able to get on top of Tinker, yeah, they'll be able to just absolutely demolish him, but this creep wave, Stan King, does have the shackles, so if... No, Doom is actually just dead here. He can roll out, but he's got to roll to the north if he wants to survive, I think. The whip, the right click from downtown, he got him! South would have saved the Earth Spirit. Neutrals, are any of the creeps gonna take the bait? No, they don't give a shit about these neutrals. Snowball is coming in, though. That has a razor inside of it, and they'll wall off MSS. He's completely trapped, and he is completely dead. Shackle and Plasma... Okay, that was just totally unnecessary, but uh, they got him. Type of heroes, but MSS is having a miserable time. Once again, being taken for a walk. Shackle, the shards... Oh, they'll catch him maybe tonight? No, BSJ right on the edge of the Plasma Field. Get almost maximum damage, if not maximum damage on that one. And Febby's gonna teleport in. Is spotted by the OBS, and Febby's in like the worst position imaginable for a Witch Doctor. Lee is going to wall him off, and Febby's gonna get the pudding beaten out of him. BSJ is here, gonna whip him down. Well, Cask, Cask, Febby is gonna run the other way. Positive Field should kill him, and it will. So that was a uh, aggressive support. And now that he's gonna be able to duck into the jungle with his march, oh, Dubu stunned out of his roll and walled off. This Razor. Husk combo has been doing exactly what it has been picked up to do. And honestly, probably a little bit more. It's really been overperforming. MSS to support DK. MSS up towards top lane. DK has gotten himself level 5. That's not that bad. He has QO here as well to help out. Dragon Tail goes off on Husk, but he does have a snowball. He will roll away just a little bit. Shard to wall off the two melee cores. Roy is still going to chase down for MSS. Q is going to try to go for Fleet. They should both be able to get their prey, and they will. And I don't think they're going to be able to fight each other at all. Monkeys Forever v. Dubu. Okay, that's happening. But QO is actually now on the way out. Roy is kind of getting blocked. Constantly give chase. Oh, Feb, is he able to solo kill Stan King? There can only be one support. Oh, he's dead, dude. He is so dead. And so is Febby. No, maybe not. Actually, Laser giving him some cover. Creeps, bottle up from MP. Febby lives. That's involved in this game because right now he's being dope. However, BSJ, he doesn't have any backup here. Plasmafield does go out. Here comes Semi, here comes Dubu. Maledict is up. Cask is going to keep him almost permastun, but he's just going to turn around and just rip apart Dubu. And also, Femi, BSJ will go down. Any one hero. I don't think he saw them. Flea is still smoked up, and yeah, he's going to find Febby. Snowball is there. Put him in a little bit of a cage. BSJ there with Plasmafield. Link him up. How much damage did he actually get? Only 31. Person who can do it. Probably that Tusk. Oh, yeah, he's going to get straight Omni Slash. Takes two of those slashes before he's able to doppelgang him. Now he's going to start getting chain stunned by the cast, maledicted and death warded. Ebby stepping up in a big way to kill off the enemy PL, and they land a kick onto the Tusk as well. Silence, laser missiles, Flea still alive right now. He's going to earn himself, and here comes BSJ with the repel on him. He's going to get so much damage, just start tearing apart these soft supports. Febby is going to start running, but I don't think he can escape. Now Snowball goes off onto QO. He does not have a TP out of here. Shards up in one second. QO's path is not blocked at all. That was not really how that was supposed to go. Shadow Shaman. Straight Blink Rush. He's got the Blink Hex. MSS, though. He's going to get a Blink Dagger instead. They get the Maladuct and the Death Ward onto BSJ. This Razor is dead. Freaking jebated by this DK's item build. Monkeys Forever Roya are going to run into QO right now. Omni Slash will be used, but the stun should be perfectly chained and will kill off Monkeys Forever. And Roya now in a little bit of trouble. He did get maledicted. They know which one's the real one. He's dropping very quickly. He's going to lose his Aegis immediately, but they've also caught up to the Juggernaut. He's going to not die, though. The sustain on this Juggernaut is actually huge. MS is going to give chase for a little bit more. Gets a stun to the Razor with the missiles flying in. Won't go towards BSJ, actually. They will lose Dubu to the Illusion squad of the PL, and MSS still chasing forward. Looking for more. My god, that Juggernaut refusing to go down. Oh, they found another Dragon Tail here onto Phantom Lancer. Already one life expend. He will doppelgang away and should be just fine. Looking to get some cheese, looking to get some Aegis action. And MSS, Blink, BKB. DK, not exactly a huge damage dealer right now, but he's going to look to alleviate that with his next item in the Maelstrom. Get that Splash. Again, not really doing a ton of damage, but hey, it's something. QO just going to go in. Immediately splits out, and they do land a Dragon Tail onto the Phantom Lancer, though he does get hit with that Repel. The Omni Slash is going to do no damage. That's why you don't Omni Slash a Phantom Lancer. Kyo is going to try to spin. We'll reduce a lot of this damage coming in from the VGA Storm side, and will get himself back to safety. Death Ward is out. Missiles are flying in. They will kill off the Tusk. And Kyo is going to jump right back in with that Aegis. going to start right-clicking that Razor, but he does get Sheep Stick, or Sheeped up by this Rasta. 
And we'll pick off the Aegis. Maybe with the Warren Trap, they'll be able to kill off Q one more time. But MP with the BKB in the middle of everything, just firing off on all cylinders. Missiles and lasers everywhere, especially onto that final kill on the Phantom Lancer. BSJ on his way out for buybacks. I think it might be time for Immortals to back off here, though they are maybe going to get caught with the DK. Kick is there, interrupt the Shackle. MSS still in a hell of a lot of trouble. They also interrupted the roll. No, actually, they didn't. Dubu will get the roll out. TP as well, Febby. There's a four staff TP. Looks like they may be able to catch up to him if they really want to give chase, but they're not going to go that far. And he is being stalked right now, but Stan King's going to jump forward, lands the Hex, has Shackles as well. Where's the backup? I don't know if the disable duration is going to be enough. They do have a force that out. Cast is going to be dodged with Snowball. They do get the BKB off of MSS. Now the Omnisage goes off on BSJ. Look at that damage. Even cleaning through onto Sand King. MP is here with the BKB firing off again onto Stan King. And QO is untouched. MSS also surviving. We'll kill off Glee off to the side of Monks Forever. Is isolated. We'll try to be out. We'll get out. Mid lane Roya is trying to do his best versus this tower. Laser Refraction will stop this push cold. The Doppelgang will get it off. And the Illusions will take down the rest of the tower. Still with the cheese. In his backpack. That's where I like to store my cheese also. Royas pushing forward with the Shadow Blade. But there is a gem on MSS. He's going to dodge the kick. Breathe Fire still going to see him. And we'll actually Dragon Tail the Razor. QO now straight on top of that Razor. He needs some magic community right now because he's maledicted. He will get pulled out or forced out by something. But still with this maledict on him, he's going to go down. And Lance still doing what he can. Found himself an angle onto MP before that time to the low ground. MP is going to be just fine. QO stuck on the high ground by himself. Trying to fight up against Roya. Not doing enough damage. Healing Ward doing a lot of work for him right now. But he's going to need some help. Why isn't anyone helping him? They're all kind of bottled up on the low ground right now. MSS trying to get him out. Here comes MP. He's back with a vengeance. Roy going to charge forward with the invisibility. Low, very low on, on health. Missile's not quite going to kill him. He will dodge it with the doppelganger. But MP's going to jump forward. Get the kill. And QO as well, blinking forward. BSJ is kind of getting blocked now by the creep wave. Blocked by QO. Of course, the eye of Scotty effect there as well. Dragon Tail to the Shadow Shaman. We'll get QO for staff out of that dangerous situation. And we'll dodge the shards. Still be fine. Just book it out of there. Blinks out, in fact. Kyo should be fine. Witch Doctor won't be. He's pretty darn dead. Dubu as well. Not looking too great here. Will get hit with the Hex and will drop. But ultimately, they do lose the Phantom Lancer. CMP is a little bit scared about that situation. Kind of running dry in mana here. Will be forced to base. MSS does have the Cold Dragon. Does have a gem. And of course, that Maelstrom. Kyo will seal the deal on this top lane. Tier 3, they do jump in on MSS, War Trap is there, Omni Slash, bouncing only pretty much to heroes, we'll do a lot of damage to King, we'll kill him off, BSJ as well, dropping to something, swarmed by QO, and he's gonna fall as well, MP in the middle of the fight with the BKB, taking absolutely no damage, this Razor, he's already dead, and the Phantom Lancer will get forced that out, trying to kill off MSS, but this Dragon is way too tanky, QO's dropping low, but he's not dying either, full 5-man wipe, Immortals don't lose anything, and that will prompt the GG call from BGJ Storm Immortals. They hold the line. And man, oh man, do they come back. And even despite having such a clunky lane for that DK.